Hey everyone, are you about to start the divorce process against your narcissistic ex and struggling to see how you can defeat them in the court process? If so, this video is for you. It's all about how to divorce the narcissist and win. I've worked with hundreds of people who have divorced a narcissistic ex and I've supported them through that process to help them get the result that they want and to find peace afterwards. That I'm going to share with you today my top tips for divorcing the narcissist and winning. But first off, it's important that you understand what you're dealing with. So, narcissists believe that they're better than everyone else. They That self-grandiose expression, they think they're far superior, and they hate to be thought of as being inadequate or inferior. So the divorce process is lined up perfectly for them because they get to show off how superior they are, or at least that's what they think. That unfortunately also means that because they do believe that they are superior, that they will do whatever it takes to prove to everyone that that is in fact the case. Meaning that they will continually take you back to court in order to prove to everyone. So if the judge makes an order and it doesn't go in their favour, they will have to keep repeating. They'll ignore the order because it's wrong, because they know best. And so you will have to keep going back to court to get it enforced. Or as I say, they will continue to take you back to court to until they get the results that they want, which is to which is ultimately to continue to control and manipulate you and get the best of you. They want to destroy you, they want to defeat you, they want to prove their prowess and they they have to banish any idea that anyone might have that they are inadequate. With that in mind, it's really important that you go into the process fully prepared. So the, my first point is you have to have a really good knowledge of what you are dealing with. So there are different types of narcissists and once you understand what you're dealing with in terms of the types, we can understand the behaviour. And once we understand the behaviour, then we know exactly what tactics they are going to use. So they become predictable. And when they become predictable, you can develop a really clear strategy to defeat them, to get the result that you want and ultimately to get them out of your life. That's what you want, isn't it? At the very least to put in place a safe and secure co-parenting plan for your children. It's also important that you choose and select the right solicitor. You need someone who is going to, one, understand what they're dealing with. They Ideally they've been up against this kind of person before and had some good results. Secondly, you want to know that the strategy that they offer you is what you believe is the right thing as well, because you've got to trust them. You're going to be sharing with them some really intimate details of your life. You have to have trust in them because this person is, is essentially representing you. And if you don't trust them, then that relationship is broken down. And what will happen is the narcissist will try and come between you then. And then ultimately you have no support in this process. So finding the right solicitor is so important so that you can build that trusting relationship with them. And finally, one of the most important points that I think is you have to be mentally and emotionally prepared for this. They are emotional vampires. They feed off of your stress, your anxiety, your frustration, your anger. And it's natural that you feel all of those things, especially when someone is playing these games. But every time you react, what you're doing is you're feeding them and you're, you're wanting them to stay in this game. So they will keep upping it until, until they get what they want, which, like I say, is to destroy you emotionally, financially, physically as well. So you need to learn how to respond rather than react. You need to understand your emotions. You need to deal with the trauma that you've been through. They, those things are the best 
ways to prepare. What I have done is I've put all of this into a short course and I'm actually running a boot camp starting on the 6th of July 2020. Obviously if you're watching this after that you can still have access to the course just not the boot camp part. If you are interested drop a comment below or email me at inquiries at the nurturingcoach.co.uk and I can give you more information about what we're going to cover in the boot camp, what the course has to offer and whether it's the right fit for you. So do take care everyone. I hope that you found these tips helpful. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So drop a comment below with your experience. Is there anything you would add? Do you wish you'd had this advice when you started out in the process? Don't forget to like, share and comment on this post. It really does help other people to see the videos and get the support that they need at this most difficult time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.